Jaya Ha, Shiva Rajaya here from vitalcoaching.com. The topic for this video is joy and fun. We are talking about coupling dynamics. Most of us enjoy having <laughs> joy and fun in our lives. When you go to a, on a date with somebody, you know, you are there on the first date, if all you are doing is being in therapy mode, talking about the past, talking about the past experiences, talking about the, your dramas and your traumas and your challenges in life, by the end of the night, you might be like, oh, I'm not sure if I want to see that person again. Why? Because relationships and dating and sex is one area in life these dynamics that you want to, to establish with, with a potential lover, for instance, in a dating situation or even in a relationship situation, are dynamics of fun, relaxation. It's positive light vibration, positive energy vibrations. We are exposed through work, through activities, through contributions to the planet and humankind, through our professions and career, to lots of challenges. This is our full-time job. For most, for most people, you know, you go to work, you go to the office, it's challenging, or back in commuting, in the subway, you know, it's like, it is stressful. Those are stressful environments. So when you come back home, when you come back into the, the dating context, into relationship context, into sex exchange, sensuality, and all that, the core qualities that you want to have are sex, fun, high quality time, you know, these kind of things, light vibration, deep sharing, connection, heart connection, refinement, beauty, you know, those kind of qualities. And yes, a little bit of challenge, as I said earlier, is fine. But the idea of having fun and having joy in this experience is very important. So some people will tend to be addicted to drama and processing. It means that their way of living, this might be you, maybe maybe it's your partner, but your way of living or their way of living might be to be processing stuff. It's like, here are the problems that I have in my life. Here is the wounding. Here's what happens when I was a child, what happened when I was a child. Here are the challenges that I'm facing and focusing too much on these challenges, too much on the processing, too much in being in therapy mode, too much of expecting your partner to be listening to you over and over again. And so what this tends to do is that the joy and the fun are being killed in your system. Imagine that you are at a party somewhere. You, you are just there celebrating with your friends, jumping into the pool, enjoying just a beautiful night. And then your partner or lover comes back to you and says something like, you know what? I'm feeling triggered right now because uh, my friend over there, she said something to me and I didn't like it. And so you enter into what we would call drama mode or therapy mode or processing mode. And so in the process of doing that, what happens is that it contracts the being, both of you, to being in a state where suddenly, okay, now we have something to process. Now we have a problem. Now we have a challenge that we have to deal with. And uh, if you don't know, if you're not able to sustain a state of joy and pleasure and harmony and fun, <laughs> then you are going to keep on diving and using these, um, you know, triggers or negative emotions, negative feelings, challenges as access points to dive back into the shadows. So here is the thing. It is that Exploring shadows together in a coupling experience might be a really beautiful experience. It's really powerful to be there and, and nurturing and, and uh, processing and analyzing what's going on and sometimes fighting, going into intensity together. That's great, you know, this is powerful. But you want to do that every now and then, not all the time. If in a week you have five days, um, six days of harmony and then you have one day of challenge, that's going to be sustainable. If you are in a coupling experience and you are in processing, in dissonance, 80% um, of the time, that's it. It's not sustainable. You're going to break up. If you are 50-50, you know, if you are 50% harmony, 50% uh, challenge, that's going to be usually the limit. If you are 20% challenge, 80% harmony, that's going to be usually sustainable. It's going to be fun because there is lots of fun and lots of joy coming to the space. There's lots of harmony, lots of resonance, lots of connection. And every now and then you disconnect a little bit, you enter into a fight or into an argument or something that is going to disconnect you or create... Um, uh, challenging experience, that's fine. But what you want to do is really learn how to cultivate the joy and the fun. 
have humor, let go of things. <laughs> you know, if you go to a party, commit yourself to have a good time instead of allowing yourself to fall back into a shadow zone, like use this uh, shadow access <laughs> to dive back into to being back into, into drama zone. So what I'm saying here, you know, maybe you disagree, it's fine. If you feel that, that this is the way you lead your life, that's, that's fine. It's not a judgment on what you do. But what I want to tell you here is that it's going to be very challenging to sustain a positive, powerful relationship if you don't know how to sustain um, a joy and harmony and fun in your life. If what, most of what's happening in your existence is drama, then that's what you're going to bring into your relationship. And the relationship is going just to, to saturate and be asphyxiated by uh, shadow energy. So go back to joy and back to fun anytime you can. I love you.